In this video, we will be discussing how memory works and how to make and manipulate multidimensional arrays using pointers. It's important that you watch the arrays video, the pointers video, and kaka computer mo yan number zero on why arrays start at zero. If you haven't watched them yet, please do, as we will be building on our knowledge from those topics. So before we move on, importante na gumraduate tayo doon sa analogy natin sa memory, which is yung subdivision. And let's start looking at memory in reality. Yung computer natin, it stores data in ones and zeros, no? in binary. One of these, we call a bit. Walong ganyan, we call a byte. As programmers, para makita natin yung byte na mas maayos, dinidivide natin yung 8 bits into dalawang groups of 4. And they correspond to hexadecimal values, no? 0 to F. Here, we could see how programmers actually see a byte, with two hex letters ranging from 0 to 255. Then, a combination of bytes is called a word. Yung haba ng word natin, or word size, nakatepende siya actually kung 32-bit or 64-bit yung computer natin. 32-bit, malamang, yung word size natin is 32 bits or 4 bytes. Tapos yung 64-bit, alam nyo na. Bakit importante ang word size? So isipin natin na parang table yung memory. May rows tayo, may columns, and bawat cell natin ay isang byte. Kapag ganito yung visualization natin sa memory, tawag natin dito ay byte addressable. Which means yung bawat byte may sariling address, di ba? Problema, yung magkakasya lang sa 32 bits ay around 4 billion values or 4 gigabytes worth of memory. Kaya kung 32 bit yung machine mo, yung RAM mo hindi pwedeng lumagpas ng 4 gigabytes. Okay, so let's talk C and C++. Yung integer sa C and C++, sabihin natin x equals 2 million, ganun. 4 bytes lagi yung kinakain. So kung titignan natin sa table natin yun, sa memory natin, ganito, itsura. Tapos kung may string tayo, for example, y is equal to hello, bali 6 bytes yan, including yung null terminating character, no, which is ASCII 0, ganito, itsura sa memory natin. In both cases, usually yung programming language, tinatandaan niya yung address ng unang byte. In this case, address 30 for our integer, Tapos address 40 for our string. Ngayon, kung gagamit tayong pointer, naka-store din yung address sa memory. Nakadepende yung size ng pointer sa pagka 64-bit or 32-bit ng machine natin. 8 bytes ito or 4 bytes respectively. So kung sustore natin yung pointer sa X, which is address 30, ganito itsura. Now, if I say memory, dapat ganito na yung understanding ninyo. Gumraduate na tayo doon sa subdivision analogy and let's understand completely kung paano talaga gumagana yung memory. Analogies can only ease us into the topic. We should grasp the reality of the concept later on. Later on, meaning ngayon. Okay, so with that understanding, let's tackle multidimensional arrays in C. First off, let's understand na yung array variable sa C ay pointer. Hindi lang natin pansin, pero pointer talaga yan. Yung indexing operator, actually dereferencing operator siya, na may offset lang. I recommend watching my video on why arrays start at zero, and you'll better understand it there. So subukan natin gumawa ng normal, one-dimensional, integer array sa C gamit pointers. So una, declare natin yung array variable. In this case, my array. So kapag nagde-declare tayo ng isang variable, ginagawa niya, nagre-reserve na siya or nag allocate na siya ng byte sa memory para sa kung anong laman man ni my array. Ngayon, wala pa kasi dineclare lang natin, hindi pa natin na-initialize. So bigyan natin ng laman ngayon. May function tayong ginagamit na malloc which means memory allocation. Ginagamit natin siya para mag-reserve ng byte sa ating memory manually. Kung saan yun sa memory wala tayong pakalam, okay? Basta alam natin na may bytes tayong ina-allocate. No? Makakasunod-sunod yung bytes. So yung tanong, kung gagawa akong size 5 na integer array, ilang bytes yung re-reserve ako? Yung sagot doon, 5 times yung size ng integer. So malok, 5 times size ni integer, 
which is 4 bytes. So, pwede natin ilagay, malok 20, di ba? Kaya lang, bad practice yan. Mas maganda na gamitin natin yung function na size of. No? So, 5 times size of, tapos anong type. So, in this case, type natin is int. Yung size of na to, nire-return nyo yan, 4, kasi 4 nga yung bytes ni int. Importante na ginagamit natin to kesa sa raw value yung ginagamit natin. Good practice yan. Okay? So, i-assign natin to kay my array. So, nire-return ni malloc is yung address ng inallocate natin na bytes. Problema, general yung nire-return ni malloc. Void pointer. Gusto natin int pointer eh. Lahat ng mga pointers, para parehas lang naman yan na address sa memory. No? So, wala namang problema na idiretso ko na lang siya na int pointer na ganyan. Tinipecast natin siya. So, pwede na natin tulagyan ng values, no, like normal. So, iterate natin siya from i to 0. Bigyan natin my array i, i plus 1. And then, iprint natin siya. Dahil C to print F tayo today. Gusto ko din iprint yung index. No? Value at i equals index. Then, value ni my array. So, pagganahin natin. Ayun. 1, 2, hanggang kay 5. So, kung napanood nyo na yung pointers video and optionally yung backtracking video, kung pinasa natin yung array as an argument sa function, direkta na naapektuhan ang ating array. Kasi, pointer yung array natin. Now, let's go for a more extreme example. Two-dimensional int array. So, recall natin sa C++ normally, kung magde-declare tayo ng ganun, 2D array, is dalawang ganyan. So, 5 times 5 for example. Diba? Kaya lang gumamit tayo ng pointers this time kasi yun nga naman yung lesson natin. So, gusto ko for this array, multiplication table from 1 to 5. So, kanina, sinabi na natin na an array of ints, no, an array of integers, is just an integer pointer. E di kung gagawa tayo ng array of integer arrays or array of arrays of integers, e di pointer of integer pointers tayo. In this case, yung pag-declare natin yan ng variable is int asterisk asterisk. No? Ganyan. Small table. Technically, ganyan yung itsura. No? Kasi, pointer to int pointers tayo. Okay? Pero, i-omit ko na yung parentheses para masanay kayo. So, usually, tawag natin dito is a double pointer. Pero hindi naman talaga nagmamatter yung term. Pag sinabi mo yun, parang cool kids ka na. Okay, so, malloc time. No? Ilang bytes yung kailangan para dito? You would be compelled na sabihin sa akin na ah, the multi table is equal to ano, malloc tapos 5 times 5 tapos size of int, no? Kaya lang, kaya lang malito, okay? Nagsistore tayo dito limang int arrays. Tapos bawat isa sa mga limang int arrays na yun, nagsistore tayo ng limang ints. Kamukha nang nauna natin dito. Magkaiba yun sa nag tayo na 25 na int, okay? So yung sagot is 5 times yung size ng int pointer. Ganyan. And then, i-typecast natin sa double pointer na integer. And then, i-access natin yung mga pointers na yun in a for loop. No? From 0 hanggang kay 5. So, si mult table at i, isa siyang array. No? Isa siyang one-dimensional array. Yung ganyan. Tapos, int pointer yung data type. Kasi ba indexing operator natin, nagdi-dereference siya. So basically, may nawawala na isang layer. ba Dahil ganyan yan, no, kung nagdi-reference tayo, magiging isang pointer na lang siya. Magiging single pointer na lang. No? So, so dahil isa siyang pointer, gayahin na lang natin to sa taas. No? Copy-paste natin yan. So mag-allocate tayo ng tiglimang integer na naman for each entry kay mult table no tapos sa bawat array natin dito 
from 0 to 5, no? Bale, si multiple natin dito ay j integer na to. So, dahil multiplication table siya, yung assign ko sa kanya is i plus 1 times j plus 1. And then, iprint natin. Tsaka natin i-run. And ayun nga, gumana. Multiplication table from 1 to 5. Now, you could see na kung gagawa tayo ng three-dimensional array, for example, itong quote-unquote multiplication cube, triple pointer yung ginagamit. Huwag ninyo basta-basta i-memorize na, ah, basta kung ilan yung dimensions, yun yung ilan yung pointers. Wag. Okay? Importante na intindihin ninyo kung bakit ganito nga siya. Hindi ko na i-explain kung paano gumagana yung code na to. Ibibigay ko na lang and intindihin ninyo. Link is in the description below. And ayun, simple enough. Next video, simulan na natin yung data structures with linked lists. So if you have any questions or concerns, leave them in the comment section below or join our Discord server and doon kayo magtanong. And if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you and see you next time.